Hey everyone, I'm back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hitman's Bodyguard. And the Hitman's Bodyguard, uh, well, uh, it's basically uh, the plot for this movie is uh, ultimately the nice guys meets Deadpool with. I keep wanting to say Ryan Gosling, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, and Samuel L. Jackson. And uh, I'll just not really get in depth because it's a little more fun if you don't know the plot. Is this movie good? Uh, it's I thought it was fine. I didn't get a whole lot out of it, uh, but I think uh, you'll have a fun time depending on what you're looking for. Uh, what this movie does well is uh, the acting and uh, its comedy are pretty funny. Uh, the comedy is, um, this movie is pretty hilarious uh, thanks to uh, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, he ultimately plays uh, <laughs> Deadpool here and uh, but it's, it's fine. Uh, that's what he's good at so I I'm not gonna blame the guy. I'm a fan of, of Ryan Reynolds and ever since Deadpool. And Samuel L. Jackson is Uh, he, I don't think anyone else, uh, if uh, he wasn't in this movie, I think this movie wouldn't work as well as it did for me. So he's pretty funny. Uh, his character is basically just shown, developed through flashbacks. So, and Ryan uh, Reynolds' character is kind of just like down on his luck at a point during the beginning. As for issues for this movie, I'm just going to get right into them. Uh, there's a lot of overexposed shots in this movie, and overexposed is where the image is so bright you can't make out what it is. It's not necessarily the whole shot, it's just the background. It's so distracting in this movie, and uh, I'm not sure what happened there. The action in this movie is fine. It's passable, but there's just way too many cuts, so it's not really exciting. And uh, it's, I kind of had a hard time getting into it. It's not uh, very investing. Uh, if it didn't have uh, humor or Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, uh, it wouldn't be as entertaining. But as it does, it is entertaining. But that's all you're going to get out of this movie, just entertainment. And so forth. If the trailers, uh, or if uh, this concept to you sounds interesting, then go see the movie. There's just not a whole lot to talk about because it's just a comedy. It's either funny or it's not funny, and uh, the story is weak. And while the acting is strong, the script is uh, kind of a mess. It kind of thinks that it's a lot more funny, and it's kind of a cartoon at times, which works sometimes, but other times it doesn't. It is a funny movie, but that's all you're going to get out of it. And I'm just going to give uh, The Hitman's Bodyguard a C+. I don't think it's a terrible movie, it's just that uh, I, I just didn't get much out of it. Thank you as always for watching my videos. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like, like, comment down below what you thought of The Hitman's Bodyguard. Follow me on Twitter. A link for that will be in the description below. And subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. Until then, have a great day.